Little Pigs. Once upon a time, there was a pig mama and her three little piggies. The first one was lazy. The second one was very greedy. While the third was brave and skillful. One day, their mother said to them, You're all grown up now. Each of you is going to build a solid house. We'll be we'll careful. Be careful. Thanks, 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 Mom. Mom. Immediately, the three little pigs rushed out. To avoid working too hard, he made a house of straw. As you can see, I got it done faster. Mom will be very proud of me, he said, addressing these two brothers. You better watch out, because a straw house can easily be blown away in a gust of wind, says the second pig. I know how to keep the wind from blowing away my house. I'm going to build a wooden house, he says proudly. Some planks, nails, and perhaps a few hammer blows, and it's all done. The second pig's house was finished. He was very happy with his house. But the third pig pointed out to him, while pushing a wheelbarrow full of bricks, that a wooden house is easier to tip over. The third pig thought that his house will be solid. Neither the wind nor even the wolf will be able to do anything against it. He worked hard all day long, and when night fell, the brick house was finished. The next morning, the wolf passed by, saw the lazy little piggy in his straw house. The wolf, who had not eaten for several days, thought that he must be gentle and that he was going to make only a bite. Little piggy, open your door for me. No, never! You're going to eat me! Then I'll blow so hard and so loud, your house will blow away. Yeah! Panicked, the little pig ran to the shelter of the wooden house. The wolf followed him to the house. Could you open the door for me? Oh, oh no. no! Never! The brothers replied. Then you'll be sorry. The wolf puffed up his chest, blew with all his might. The two little pigs, even more panicked, ran towards their brothers. Here, you're safe. The wolf followed them and found the house. Could you open the door for me? Oh, oh we don't no! Want you to, we, we don't, don't want, want you to eat us! Eat us. Then I'm going to blow so hard, your house will blow away. The wolf puffed up his chest, blew with all his might, and the brick house didn't fly away. He looked around and saw a large ladder and put it against the wall to reach the chimney. I'm going to eat you, he said, salivating in advance. Foreseeing the third little piggy heated a pot of boiling water. When the wolf descended into the chimney, he began to get very hot. He tried to come back up, but too late. He fell into the boiling water and burned his hindquarters. Screaming in pain, he ran away. And the wolf never <laughs> came. The two little pigs henceforth worked together with their big brother for the greatest happiness of their mother. They all live happily ever after. The End <laughs>